Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the relativistic units of momentum. And here we have the general equation where the total energy squared is equal to the rest mass energy squared plus the momentum times the speed of light quantity squared. So from that, I'm going to show you what the units for uh, momentum look like, and then we'll actually do a little example problem to show you how to find the momentum of an object. So here we have, let's say, a proton. We have rest mass of a proton equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And let's say that the velocity of that proton is equal to 0.9 times the speed of light, so 90% the speed of light. So first, let's try to come up with an expression for the units of momentum. So we're going to solve this equation for momentum. Move this, uh, well actually we're going to move this to the other side and switch the equation around. So we can write PC quantity squared is equal to the left side, which is the total energy squared minus this quantity right here, which is M sub naught C squared quantity squared. So this is the total energy squared minus the rest mass energy squared equals the momentum times the speed of light quantity squared. So now we take the square root of both sides. So we have P times C is equal to the square root of the energy squared minus the M sub naught C squared quantity squared. And then divide both sides by C, we get the momentum is equal to the square root of the total energy squared minus the rest mass energy squared, all divided by the speed of light. All right, now, what are the units of this equation? Well, notice that the, uni the units of energy would be MeVs, and of course the units of energy squared would be MeV squared, so, or EV squared, but typically it's in the millions of electron volts, so we'll just write MeVs. So we can say that uh, P is equal to the units of P, so we'll go ahead and bracket it, so this means the units of P, that's just my way of expressing that, the units of momentum are going to be equal to the square root the units of energy are going to be in terms of MeV, especially when we deal with objects as big as protons, so MeVs, and if we have to square that, minus the units of that, that would be MeVs quantity squared, and notice that these are the units of that, so that's why I will go ahead and bracket that, and we divide that by C. Now, if we square the units of MeV, and we do it here again, and then we take the square root of that. In essence, the units of that, so we can go ahead and write it like this, the units of that would be MeVs, because it's MeV squared, and we take the square root, and then we divide that by the speed of light, which tells us that the units of momentum will typically be written in terms of MeVs, million electron volts, divided by the speed of light. And that's how we go ahead and typically in in the relativity, write the units of momentum. So let's do a little example to show you this and see if that makes sense. So we have a proton moving at 0.9 C. We use the same equation right here. And so what we can do here is, we're going to use the same equation. So write the total energy squared is equal to M sub naught C squared quantity squared plus the momentum times the speed of light quantity squared. So when we take that equation and solve for P, we're going to do exactly the same right here. So we can write that P is therefore equal to the square root of the total energy squared minus the rest mass energy squared, quantity squared, all divided by C. And of course, we have to remember that the total energy can also be written like this. The total energy can be written as gamma times m sub naught c squared. Remember that gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So the total energy can also be written in terms of its total mass rather than its rest mass. So rest mass energy, let me just for reference, so rest mass energy is equal to m sub naught c squared and total energy can be written as m c squared, where m is now the relativistic mass, which means the rest mass divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared, which of course can be written as gamma, because gamma is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. So since we know v, we can figure out what gamma is equal to. So let's go ahead and do that. So if v is equal to 0 0.9, and let me just plug that in here, so gamma in our case would be equal to 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.9c divided by c, quantity squared, so the c's cancel out, and we end up with 0.9 squared, subtract that from 1, 
take the square root of that and then take the inverse and we get 2.294. So in this case, with the proton moving at 90% of the speed of light, gamma will be 2.294. So then what we're going to do is we're going to write instead of E squared, we're going to write in terms of this right here. So we, then we know that the momentum of this proton is equal to the square root of gamma times m sub naught times c squared, and of course the whole quantity needs to be squared, minus m sub naught c squared, squared, and the whole thing divided by c. So now we're almost there. Remember from the previous video that if we calculate the rest mass energy of a proton, which has this much mass, was 938.2 million electron volts. So therefore the momentum is going to be equal to the square root of gamma, which is 2.294, multiplied times 938.2 million electron volts, and we have to square that, and we subtract from that the rest mass energy of a proton, which would be 938.2 million electron volts, and we have to square that as well, and take the whole thing and divide it by C. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate that. So we have 938.2 squared at times 2.294 squared equals, and we subtract from that 938.2 squared equals, and now we have the quantity underneath the radical, so now we take the square root of that, and there we go. The momentum, P is going to be equal to 1,937 million electron volts divided by the speed of light and notice that falls right in line with the units that we said we're going to have for momentum which is million electron volts divided by the speed of light one more quick check to make sure i did this correctly 938 squared. equals take the square root of that 900 1937 looks like we're good and that's how we can show you how we pick the units for momentum to be million electron volts divided by the speed of light and that's how it's done